currently patients um, would be given a standard treatment approach um, and we know that some patients do respond very well to these type of, of chemotherapies but we do know there's a large proportion of patients that don't often respond to standard uh, chemotherapy. Well, what, what this research is pointing towards is we're now able to use the massive amounts of molecular and genetic data that has been generated based on patient tissue samples that are, are taken from a hospital. So when a patient is diagnosed with bowel cancer, their, their tumor can be extracted and we can examine the molecular makeup of this tumor. And this allows us to start to tease apart that molecular uh, information to start to select uh, treatment strategies that have a higher chance of success for each individual patient. Routinely, um, patients are offered radiotherapy, surgery and chemotherapy. The chemotherapy may not actually be effective and so you're undergoing all the horrors of chemotherapy. There's no other word for it. Horrible side effects, nausea, hair loss, etc, etc. And it may, for some cases, not be at all necessary. So this is really, as we see it, from the patient point of view, groundbreaking work for the future because it has massive implications for patient care and treatment. So we're very excited about this research and it really shows how if you do precise analysis of samples from patients and look at their genomic profile, it can really give you excellent insights, one into how the actual disease works, but also how we can actually develop ways both to treat the disease, but also importantly to give patients better quality of life.